Hello and welcome to Lauren's English Corner. Today is an intermediate lesson looking at how to make plans or make suggestions. In today's lesson, we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to give you an example conversation, which will also help you to practice your listening skills. You're going to watch two people, two friends, deciding what they're going to do this weekend. As you listen to the conversation, I want you to listen carefully to the language that they use, the patterns that they use in order to make plans. In front of you, make a list of two things. First, listen for the language that they use for making suggestions. How do they make suggestions? As you listen, write them down. And the second thing to listen for is how do they agree and disagree about those decisions? So again, listen for the words of agreement and the words of disagreement and write that down in the second column. You can watch the conversation as many times as you need to. And then at the end, we'll come back together to talk about the language and the patterns from that listening. So let's listen in on their conversation. Hello? Hi, John. What shall we do this weekend? Um, I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, we could go to the park. No, I don't think that's a good idea. They say it's going to rain on the news. OK, what about going to the cinema? Yeah, that's a good idea. What should we watch? Um, I'm not sure. What's on at the moment? Well, do you want to watch something romantic or an action movie? I'd like to watch an action movie, but what about you? Yeah, me too. You know, we could watch Black Panther or, um, or Tomb Raider. I'd really like to watch Black Panther, but haven't you seen it already? Yeah, but I don't mind watching it again. It's a great film. OK, so when should we go? I'm busy on Sunday, but I can go on Saturday. OK, well, I'm busy Saturday morning, but we could go in the, in the evening. Sounds good. Where should we meet? Let's meet at the O2 for 6pm. We could buy the tickets and then get something to eat before the film. Yeah, that's a great idea. See you then. OK, see you Saturday. Bye. OK, so now let's talk about the first thing that we were listening for. The language that they use, the pattern that they use to make suggestions. One was, what shall we? What shall we? For example, what shall we do this weekend? So if you want to make a suggestion or ask for a suggestion, then you say, what shall we? Or, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? So these two examples is where you're asking the other person for their suggestion for their opinion. However, if you want to give a suggestion, then you could use the pattern as they did in the conversation. We could. We could go to the park. That was one of the suggestions. We could go to the park. Do you want? Do you want to watch a romantic or a, an action movie? In those two cases, the verb that follows the suggestion is in the infinitive. We could go, do you want to watch? However, with one of the other patterns that they used, what about? What about? In this case, the verb has ing. What about going? What about going to the cinema? What about listening to? What about watching? You could also say, how about? How about we go to the cinema? Or how about listening to some music? Another example from the listening was, I'd like, I would like, I'd like to watch an action movie. Or if you want to put emphasis in there, I'd really like to, I'd really like to see Black Panther. Another one from the listening was let's, let's, let us, let's meet at 10 o'clock, 
Let's go now. Let's invite more friends. So let us, let's, is another way of making a suggestion. It's also a, a, a slight way of giving a little push. Use the lot for things you want to do now. Let's go, let's do this. It's not rude, but it's a way of emphasizing something you think is a good idea. Another one not from the listening though that you could say is, why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we meet beforehand for dinner? Why don't we go to the beach tomorrow? Why is what we use to ask for reasons? Because. So if we're saying, why don't we? We're, we're showing that we can't think of any reason. We think it's such a good idea, there's no reason why we shouldn't do it. So you say, why don't we? You are still giving the other person an opportunity to give you a reason that perhaps you haven't thought of. Like, well, it might rain, or because I'm busy or I haven't got any money. They're giving you a reason that they think it's not a good idea. So those are ways in which we can make a suggestion or ask for a suggestion when we're making plans. So what about the language that we use to agree and disagree? What did you hear from the conversation? A disagreement, they said, no, I don't think that's a good idea. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You use the term think here to show that it's your opinion. I don't think that that's a good idea. In agreement, they said, yes, that's a good idea. Or that's a great idea if we want to give more agreement. So yes, that's a good idea. Or yes, that's a great idea. Or yes, me too, if you have a similar opinion on something. They also said, sounds good. They also use the term, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So if you are not really in agreement or disagreement, or they've asked you a question about something that you don't know the answer to, then you could just say, I'm not sure. Another way to give slight agreement, usually because we don't want to upset someone or just say, no, you're wrong, we often use things like things like maybe, maybe, but, and then give the reason why it might not be the best idea. Or you could say, that's a nice idea, but I've heard it's going to rain. Or maybe, but perhaps it, we could do it later. Perhaps we could do it next month after payday. So those are just some examples of ways that we can agree or disagree when we're making plans with our friends. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, especially being able to practice your listening skills. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and please tell us of anything that you'd like us to include in our lessons and we'll try our best to bring them to you. See you next time on Lauren's English Corner.